Hello YouTube, it's Tony. So today I'll be doing a flipping series to 100 mil, and so I'll only be starting with 1 GP. Now I'm only going to be using free to play items. Personally, I rarely do flipping and I'm quite terrible at it, but I thought it'd be an interesting series to try. The previous from scratch series I tried was getting a bond, which I'll leave the links in the description. Then afterwards, I got requested a flipping series. Don't worry though, I'll still roll out the guides as usual. Anyways, I created this account as of March 14, 2018. I think I'll expect to get my first 100 mil in probably 2 months or so, I'm not sure. Alright so before I get into the series, here are the rules. First, I cannot trade players including any of my alts or my main account, or even pick up items that are dropped in the GE. Two, I cannot sell my items from the GE to the shop or alk them. The third rule is, I cannot alter the items I buy of any sort, which include cleaning herbs or emptying any sort of containers. Now the only way I'm going to be obtaining items is just buying from the GE and the only way I'm going to get rid of them of course is selling it through the GE. Finally for the last rule, since in RS3 we do have Treasure Hunter, I'm not going to be opening up any keys. Okay so I'm just going to make my way to the Grand Exchange right now. And yeah this is the Mystery Cracker which I'm just going to pull and get 500 GP. But then again I only need 1 GP so I'll just drop the rest. Okay, so there we go. We made it to the Grand Exchange and let's talk to him so I can get the basics. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah. Step 1, Step 2, and Step 3. Yes, I know the basics. Thank you. Thank you. Now I can start. Wait, let me just see if I can use it on any random person. Can I do that? Oh, yes. I can. Okay. There's my first 500 GP. I'm just going to drop this. Drop that. Drop this. Drop that. I'm going to deposit only one coin. I don't have anything in here, so let me just deposit my coin pouch and withdraw one of them. And there we go. 1 GP. Let's go. 1 GP to start flipping. I'm not sure what item to buy at first, but I think maybe vial can work. Let me see if I can buy this for 1 GP, a regular vial. Come on. I know it sells for 1 GP. Wow, it's almost 12 a.m. And look, I've been waiting here for hours, and this won't even buy at all for 1 GP. I hope I can get this offer filled by tomorrow morning. And here it is. I waited overnight, yet I still can't even buy this at 1 G. I'm not really sure why, but I mean, come on. These things are traded very often, and 1 GP just isn't unreasonable for it to buy. Are you kidding? I came back from work and still it doesn't even fill? Come on. There's literally no other item in free to play that's around 1 G. Alright, well, finally, the first transaction on this account. The vial has bought. Okay, here as you can see in the sale history. Now I'm just going to sell for 2 GP and let's see how long this is going to take. Oh wow, I went AF King and this actually sold pretty fast. Here's my second GP. And I hope I can buy 2 again, so I'm just going to buy 2 vials for 1 GP and let's see if I can double that. Hope it buys. I mean, this took me almost 24 hours to buy that. Wow, the next day I couldn't even buy any vials at all. Jesus, 1 GP and I couldn't even buy them. Okay, I'm just going to try regular pouches. You know one of those empty pouches from summoning? I'm just going to try that. Okay, so let me type in pouch. There we go. Let's see if I can buy for 2 GP. So then I'm going to sell for 3 GP afterwards. Alright, well, the pouch bought, so now I'm going to sell for 3 GP and let's see how long that's going to take. Alright, so there we go, the pouch has sold. Now I'm just going to buy another pouch, I guess. Okay, so there we go. This pouch sold and now I have my first 4 GP. There we go. I sold the pouches and I got my first 6 GP. Okay, I don't know what item to buy next, but like, maybe I'm gonna buy, hmm, a seed? I think there's a free-to-play seed I can buy. I'll try barley seed. I don't know how much it buys for. I think I can buy this for 5 GP. Let me test that out. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna cancel both of these offers and just spend... All six of my GP buying pouches for 2 GP each, because I think they'll easily buy overnight, okay? I'm just about to go to bed right now. As for selling them, well, it takes me under 30 minutes to sell them at 3 GP. The only real problem is just buying them, that's all. Alright, so there we go. We sold the pouches after buying them, so there is 9 GP. I'm not sure what to buy next. I think I'll do maybe fishing bait, I guess? I don't know. Oh wow, I bought these two pouches for 2 GP instantly. I didn't know that. Okay, let me just cancel my offer for the potato seed because I know for sure I can get two more of these. Come on, let's see. Yes, there we go. Okay, I'm going to ho hopefully sell them for 3 GP. 
Okay, so after almost 24 hours, I finally sold the pouches for 3 GP. Okay, there's my first 12 GP. 13, oh wait, I'm just gonna sell this for 2 GP. I hope I could sell this. Yeah, I think the vials are now 1 GP, so I'm just gonna try to buy them and see if I can double my cash, basically. Okay, so I'm gonna buy 12 of them. Okay, I came back from work, but none of these vials bought, so... I'm just gonna try Iron Arrowheads, like, on my main account I believe I bought them for, I think, 9 GP each. So I'm just gonna try to buy one and see just how much I can sell them for. Okay, so what I'm gonna try are Iron Arrows, and I heard that I can buy them for 10 GP when I actually tried to sell my junk on my main account, so let's see just how long this is gonna take to buy. Actually, I might just try it with fish bait, cause I tried it before and it actually sold faster. Alright, well, here's my pouches. I sold them for 3 GP, and I'm just going to cancel this offer, and with that being said, here's my first 25 GP I made. So in conclusion, obviously 1 GP isn't enough to flip at all, but the rules are the rules. Like, it took me an insanely long time to buy and sell each item, as the only free-to-play item that can buy for 1 GP is an empty vial. Now, some of you might be comparing me to a friend in OSRS, but to be honest, the GE was quite new when he did that. A lot of low trade volume items had pretty high margins at that time. For myself though, I could have lucked out an item that was randomly traded for 1 GP, but like I couldn't really think of any items that would have this low of a trade volume. I think you can probably expect an episode every week or so for this series, I'm not sure, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope I see you next episode.